Hey guys, so today's New Year's Eve, and um, some of my friends who have been watching my videos, like thank you for watching, <laughs> have been asking me to elaborate on why I was kicked out and everything. So two years ago, actually tomorrow, so the January 1st of 2012, um, I was kicked out of my house. Um, my mom wanted me to start paying rent and at the time, I couldn't afford rent because in November, I spent $2,000 fixing my car um, all, in, all in one month. So, um, and then that didn't fix my car, it just kept breaking. So, um, yeah, I had to fix my car and then my mom, towards the end of the month, asked me, hey, um, I need you to start, starting the first, I need to start paying rent. And I told her, I'm sorry mom, I can't afford rent um, right now because of how much I've been spending on my car and how little hours I'm getting. I was working at Jamba Juice, so great first job, but not something that you can support yourself on um, for the most part. And so on January 1st, I was working with my um, old ex coworker and good friend, Michelle. And so that night, she invited me to go to this bar, bar club thing called In Cahoots. It's a country line dancing um, place, and it's really fun. But, um, yeah, so she invited me. So when I went home that night, I um, go home to all my locks being changed and, like, the side gates having, like, deadbolts on it or whatever they are and everything so I was just like locked and all my stuff was out front um besides my clothes and so I called my sister and uh called Michelle first tell her I can't go because obviously I can't go to the place if I can't get anything if I'm not going to have a home to come to the night that night so I called her canceled she asked if I need anything I said I just need to figure out where I'm going to stay um and then called my sister and told her what was going on and she said the you know climb over the fence and see if there's a, a way you can get in so I climbed over the fence and left my sister on the line and walked around and everything was locked the back garage the back doors you know everything was locked beside my window was open but the you know we had a screen cross so I pushed in the screen and jumped through my window and um, at that point, my stepdad heard me um, coming into the room. And, you know, he comes waving his finger, like, yelling and screaming, and you did this, you did that, and blah, blah, blah. And he just started, like, you know, hitting me. Like, yeah, <laughs> hitting me. Um, and so him and I are in this, in this fist fight, and... Um, um, we're, yeah, he brings me to the ground. And, you know, my stepdad's 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, He's a really big guy. So it's like, I'm 5'10", 5'11". So he's bigger than me, and he's, you know, built. He does um, some sort of construction and all this different stuff. So I, he brings me to the ground, but I'm a, you know, I can handle myself. So I know what to do to get him off me. So I got off him off me. And then my mom runs in, she, you know, she's like, oh, don't do this, oh, don't do this. And my sister at this point has hung up the phone and called the police. And so the I'm leaving my house and, um, and that's when the police showed up and I had, you know, my clothes in my hand and they asked, you know, do you have a place to go? Um, no, because I wasn't planning on being kicked out, but I'll handle it. And then called my cousin, um, Alex, and said, like, do you know a place I could stay? And she, like, let me stay at her house with her parents, and they let me stay with her for that night. And then the following day, we all went to Disneyland, and um, I was asking my... Well, I'm really shaky right now. <laughs> Um, it was like all my family went, all my family went to Disneyland. 
not like my stepdad or my mom, but like my dad's side of the family. And um, so we all went to Disneyland and I was telling them, you know, last night I was kicked out, this, that, and whatever. And they're kind of just like, oh, bummer, that sucks. And so the only people that really cared was my cousin and my sister. And um, that's about it. Because I was like, but my cousin and my sister couldn't really, like, help me. Like, and my cousin's parents, my aunt and uncle, um, they tried their best to help. But it's just like, there's only so much they could do. Because they, you know, they had lives and everything. So I spent the next six months on January 2nd is when I got my place that I'm currently living in right now. This one, woo. Um, and I spent it going from house to house, um, getting to know people, you know, and just seeing, you know, where I could stay. And, um, there was days where I'd like, what I would do in a day is like, wake up, get ready, go to work, and then sit at work for like five, six, seven, eight hours before my shift would start, start my shift wait till that's done, and then while I was waiting there for my shift, I would um, try to plan where I was staying that night. So, I met a lot of awesome people through that time, though, and a lot of people that I didn't expect to help me helped me, and a lot of people that I thought would help me didn't help me. So, I met, you know, I, I saw who my true friends were, saw who was really there for me, and, you know, this seeing random people, like, knowing, meeting random people, and seeing, like, and having them do random acts of kindness, like, there's just a lot of times where I didn't know I was going to stay, and these random people just decided to help me, so, bless them for that, but, ever since I found this place, and being, being homeless was a good thing, you know, it wasn't bad, it wasn't a negative part of my life, it was a, positive. It got me the job I'm currently working for. It, I met a lot of great people and made me do a lot of things that wouldn't usually be normally comfortable doing. Um, and it was just a positive experience. So in the long run, it's a good thing. So don't always think of the negative as a negative. Think of it as a positive because everything that is in life is a positive outcome only. So I guys hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> And always remember, positive outcomes only. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.